Okay, let's talk about how to hold the drumsticks. There's a lot of different ways to hold the stick. In fact, you know, you can hold them any way you want. You can make a sound and you can, you know, just grab the sticks and do whatever you want. But when I, um, one thing I learned, one main thing I learned from my studies with Joe Morello is um, how to have a definitive way of holding a stick. In other words, try everything he would teach, he would have a reason for, or that he does teach has a, a particular reason. And when I ask drummers when they come in for lessons, why are you holding a drumstick that particular way? Almost all of them either, either say, well, it feels good, or my teacher showed me, or I saw it in a picture. But very few have a definitive way as to why they're holding a stick a particular way. And one thing I learned from Joe with this uh, particular method, he studied again with uh, George Lawrence Stone, who was one of the greatest teachers in history who wrote the stick control book, considered the top drum book in history. And George Lawrence Stone had a very specific way uh, in terms of explaining how to hold a drumstick. The main thing, if you look at the way Joe Morello plays or the way I play, it seems to be very, very relaxed. You can move your hands very fast without a lot of tension. And here's the reason why. Basically, what Joe teaches is how to use the body anatomically correct. He calls it natural drumming. And basically what he does is he says, let's take a look at how the hand and the wrist move with no stick in it. And he would ask everybody to hold out their wrists in their hands. Again, this is his particular way of showing things. So those of you watching at home, just hold out your hand and make this motion with the wrist, just a waving motion up and down. Do you feel any tension in the wrist? There's no tension whatsoever. There's nothing th that causes a problem. The wrist should be able to move at a free speed like this without any kind of tension. So the way that uh, Mr. Stone taught and the way Joe Morello teaches and the way I teach how to hold a drumstick is basically to basically hold your wrist out and put the stick in and change nothing with the stick uh, position. You basically are letting the wrist move freely. You're not squeezing the stick. You're not grabbing it. You're just allowing the wrist to move the way it moves naturally. And I'll hold this up for the camera to see. I'm basically holding the wrist out and putting the stick in and changing nothing, allowing the wrist to move freely, which is, again, natural, uh, the natural position. You notice there's a space between the thumb and the first finger. For me, after being a professional and teaching now for quite a while, the drummers that seem to have carpal tunnel syndrome and problems in making motions and tension, almost without exception, squeeze between the thumb and the first finger. Now, if you're playing in a drum corps, which my stepson Scotty is doing now with the cadets, it's a different type of, of approach to holding a stick. This is more for drum set and a way of relaxing while you're playing. You don't have to, sh to do a show. You're not trying to make stick heights for a drum line or execute things on a Kevlar drum head. This is a very relaxed way of playing. And what I'm doing, again, this is Joe's concept, is holding the stick in the crease of the first finger, held together with the thumb on the side, and I asked him once, well, why do you hold it there as opposed to up further here in this position? And he said, well, when you grab something like a newspaper, this is the source of the, the greatest strength is toward the front of the, of, the, of the finger, in the crease of the first finger. And some drummers, you'll notice, hold their pinkies out like this when they play, and from what I can see through Joe's teaching, this is a sign of tension. He says, keep the fingers on the stick so you can use them. If your fingers are out like this and you're not using them, but you're basically allowing the wrist to turn naturally. You're making this motion, keeping a space between the thumb and the first finger, so the wrist is allowed to move freely the way that it naturally moves. So theoretically, there should be no tension from this squeezing. And if you're holding the stick, it's kind of a loose way of holding it. The stick doesn't fall out, but it's certainly not a tension way. There's no real fulcrum. It's basically the turn of the wrist and allowing the wrist to move freely. So there's no tension whatsoever. So now let's look at the left hand. If you're playing with a traditional grip, the same type of thing. When I first went to Joe Morello for lessons many, many years ago, I was holding the stick down like this, and he said, well, why are you doing that? And I kind of went, well, I don't know, I just sort of do it. He said, well, let's analyze how the, how the hand moves. How does the wrist move? The wrist turns like this, doesn't go back like this, doesn't bend down. It's a very natural way of turning the wrist. Now, some drummers hold the stick between the thumb and the first finger. You can actually play pretty fast. But at some point, there's tension between the thumb and the first finger. This particular method employs using this first finger over the top of the stick as the position to hold the stick. And you're basically not squeezing with the thumb and the first finger. You're just laying the finger over the stick, forming a little bit of a triangle, as my wife likes to say, and then um, using the bottom fingers as a buffer. And this middle finger just kind of uh, 
uh, it really doesn't get too involved. It just kind of uh, goes along parallel to the stick. So the motion is really being made by the wrist turning and the finger holding the stick, again, with no tension whatsoever. So you're allowing the wrist to turn freely, making this motion. Now, there's a question, should I play traditional grip or should I play matched grip? And again, Joe Morello makes a point in his workshops that if you were to add, you know, have a little kid, if you gave a baby a pair of drumsticks, the baby's not going to be going like this. The baby's going to you know, just pick up the sticks in kind of a matched position. And there is an idea, basically, that if you hold the sticks in the matched position, you should be able to get the same sound a little bit more easily than like this. Um, and this is kind of a more natural way of playing. But there is a jazz tradition associated with traditional grip. And Mel Lewis, one of my other teachers, made a point about the fact that this is a looser way of playing psychologically. And I would say that that would have to be true for me, that I think of this as more of a harder, funk, straight eighth note way of playing, and this more of a looser jazz way of playing. I practice both. You can do it either way. For years, I, I thought, you know, it doesn't make any difference, whatever feels good. I've got students that pr play both ways. They can play brushes this way. For me, that's very, very difficult, but they can play both methods. But the main thing is no tension. Again, this is Joe's thing, that you're holding the stick. None of this material really works unless you have uh, a tension-free grip, basically, so that there's no tightness and that the wrist is allowed to move freely. Um, another thing relating to holding the sticks is I sometimes have students come in and they're playing more of the French grip, which you can do, and certainly when you're playing the snare drum and you move over to the cymbal, you're, you're putting more thumb over the top of the stick. I find that it's kind of the same, but that I get more power and control when the wrist is up uh, you know, facing the ceiling position, basically, it seems like a much more natural way to play. And for more information about this, you can check out Joe's videos where he deals with natural drumming and really kind of describes it. But this is the method that I use from my studies. Wrists up, letting the wrists move very, very naturally, holding the stick in a very relaxed position with no squeezing and no tension.